Okay, so let's go ahead and try to set the depth of cut for a mill, uh, for milling out the traces on the copper clad. So the first thing that you'll want to do is bring up the jog window on the TTX software uh, and start spinning up the mill to the proper speed. Uh, now it will get quite loud, uh, so you may want to be using hearing protection. Uh, so once we have the mill up to the right speed, you can go ahead and engage the head down command on the uh, jog window. Okay, and what this will do is this will uh, engage the foot uh, onto the copper clad with the full force of the mill that will be experienced during normal milling. So we've got it in the position that it's going to be doing when it's, you're going to be milling your traces. And you can see that the uh, mill, the tip of the mill, is a long way away from actually touching the copper clad, which is exactly where we want it. Um, because what we're going to do is we're going to slowly lower the mill uh, closer to the copper clad until it actually engages the copper clad. Uh, and so we're going to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to use the um, depth of cut adjustment on the right hand side of the head of the, uh, of the mill. And what you're looking for, uh, what you're obviously going to be doing is you're going to be uh, raising the foot, which in this shot looks like uh, l lowering the mill closer to the uh, copper clad. And what you're looking for really is that uh, as soon as the tip of the mill engages the copper clad you'll notice a little bit of dust will come up uh, and it's kind of it's a little difficult to tell but it's definitely an event that you'll notice uh, and so right here we're lowering and we're about to engage and right there you just saw that little bit of, of fiberglass dust that came up that's what you're looking for um, to let you know that you have engaged the copper and again, it's a little difficult to see, but if you look carefully, uh, it's definitely something you'll notice. Okay, so once we've got it engaged there, you can go ahead and uh, lower the, uh, the mill by maybe one or two more clicks. Um, not too far, uh, we don't want to engage too much. And what we're going to do is we're going to move the head, uh, move the entire uh, head of the mill in a simple test pattern. So we're just going to cut a little square um, to see what it is that we're cutting. Okay. Um, and what this allows us to do is it will allow us to gauge how well uh, the mill is cutting, if it's sharp, if it's dull, uh, if it's at the right depth. All these things will be tested in this initial cut. So again, you want to make sure that you're somewhere that uh, is not going to be used in your actual circuit. Okay, and so once you've made your uh, initial cut, uh, or your test cut, you can go ahead and use the same jog window to move the head out of the way uh, so we can take a closer look at the cut that we just made. All right, so as you can see here, we've made a test cut with the mill. Um, and what we're trying to find out here is if it's a smooth cut. Now, the type of cut that we're looking for uh, is one that removes entirely the copper on front and leaves behind only um, the kind of the, the, black, the blackened fiberglass underneath. Okay, and so you can see here that you can very clearly see the black coming out, which is exactly what we want. And that right there forms the isolation area. That is the area where there is no copper. Okay. Now... If you run your finger over this, it should be very smooth. If you feel a whole bunch of little copper burrs and uh, strong pieces of copper, then it's likely that your mill is either dull, going too slow, or not deep enough. Okay, so make sure that you have uh, a nice smooth cut like this before you begin trying to mill your board. Otherwise, you're going to get poor results on all of your traces, and you're going to be very upset.